Hello everyone, this is Kat with Cat Knight TV. Today we are playing a game called Immortal Empire. This is a free game on Steam. It is highly rated and so we're going to check it out. Here we go. on this account, create one. Alright, so let's create a character. Most interesting. The binding process appears to have succeeded. Excellent. This truly was easier than I had anticipated. The old man stares at you expectantly. Who are you? Where am I? What's going on? Uh, what's going on? You must have many questions. I will answer what I can. But we do not have much time. I have made you immortal. As an immortal, you can still die, but death is only temporary. Unlike mortals, you will resurrect after you die. You are also special, okay. but I will not discuss that just now. You know, it's never good when somebody says you're <clears throat> special, especially with a pause. Okay, special, how am I special? I said I will not discuss that now. Just know that you are important. Look at him narrow his eyes at me. I can tell me how special I am. Alright. I have no memory of my past. I'm going to ask questions. When you become immortal, you are born anew. You will have no memories of your former mortal life. Your appearance, however, is unchanged. Others may recognize you. Do not be concerned. I will help you with this transition. Sure, do not be concerned that you don't remember a dang thing. It's just perfectly fine, no worries. By all means. All right. Who are you? I am an elder. By binding your life to mine, I have made you immortal. I have the power to bind exactly five mortals and give them the gift of immortality. You are the first. Okay. You were mortally wounded, dying. 
I attempted to bind you as my immortal, to save your life. Very few people have the inner strength to become an immortal. If the binding process fails, the subject dies. But even in your wounded state, you survived. I don't trust it. You are in Kaelwyn, far from the city realms. We are surrounded by farmland, where no one will recognize you. That's creepy. Thanks, creepy guy, for finding my existence to you and taking me to a deserted farmland where no one can recognize me. I'm, I'm scared. All right. <laughs> what would you have me do? Not long ago, there was a cataclysmic sundering of the earth to the east of here. Rows of mountains burst from the ground with a fiery volcano at the center. Entire realms were destroyed. It has thrown civilization into chaos. What's more, simple beasts of the neighboring realms have become unusually aggressive. Villages are being attacked, and there have been rumors of demons roaming the land. The people need an immortal. They need you. You want me to, in my state of not remembering who I am, go out and fight demons? There is a stone giant terrorizing giant. the nearby farmers. Stone giants are usually peaceful, but something has infected this one's mind. It must be destroyed before more lives are lost. In your immortal form, you will be powerful enough to defeat it. Bring your weapon. I will take you to the stone giant. Alright then. Select one of the skills and we'll have to level up. Um, Pierce. Contact. Here is yours. Immediately.
Your command for the troll plan. You have done well to defeat the stone giant, but the twisted humans you encountered on your journey are deeply concerning. Something is tainting the people and creatures of this land, and I am sure it is related to the Sundering. What caused the Sundering? Most people blame the gods, but I think there is more to the story. In the city realms, there is a high council consisting of eight powerful mages. Shortly before the Sundering, all eight went missing. Only two returned. Those council mages know more of what happened than they reveal. I'm sure of it. Hmm. What is that giant black obelisk we saw in the farmland? That black obelisk is called a spire. There are countless spires strewn across the land. Indestructible, they are surrounded by magic and not well understood. No one knows for certain who built them, or why. Perhaps it was the gods, or an ancient civilization. Spires and immortals are closely related. If you die, you will resurrect at a spire. For this reason, we will always stay close to the spires in our travels. You were hit with debris from the Sundering. Hmm. Let's move on. Word has spread about how easily you dispatched the Stone Giant. The farmers claim that an army of Stone Giants has formed nearby. Right. Stone Giants are solitary creatures, and they do not form groups. Come with me to investigate. We must discover what is causing this shift in behavior.
protocol immediately.
your command for the Tor Clan. Random people will just join your game. It's on public. You're at your call, as you will. Oh, no, you, you must help. These giants are coming from Nethir's forest. It's those Brunei witches. They are behind this. The Brunei have always coveted our lands, and now they seek to take them by force. Help us! Defeat the Brunei as you did these giants! Immortal, we have a visitor from the farmlands. My name is Mayel. I heard the other farmers tell you that the Brunei are to blame for the recent attacks. It is true that the giants seem to be coming from Nethir's forest, but there is no evidence to suggest the Brunei are responsible. People in these parts mistrust the Brunei and are quick to lay blame. I wanted to speak with you before you did anything rash. No offense was intended. I see a lot of prejudice and superstition around here. Sometimes I forget that not everyone behaves this way. The Branai are peaceful and not particularly strong in magic. Only their leader, Nethir, is powerful enough to conjure such things. We should seek him out. Perhaps he can shed some light on this mystery. 
The Branai live for centuries, but Nethia is over a thousand years old. He has some great energy that grants him long life. Most Brunei have some minor magic abilities, but Nethir wields significant power. Not only talented in magic, he has been a prosperous leader. He has defended his people when needed, and brokered trade agreements with the humans. The Brunei have the utmost respect for him. <sighs> because they are different. When livestock goes missing, you will hear farmers claim they saw a Brunei stealing it, or that a spoiled crop was caused by Brunei poison. The people here will blame outsiders for anything they do not understand. Before you leave, I have a request. Take me with you. If the farmers discover that I sympathize with the Brunei, it will not be safe for me here any longer. The Immortal and I may travel to places of great danger, but you may stay with us here until you find a new home. That will do just fine, thank you. Immortal, we must go to Nethia's forest. It is time to find what is causing these stone giants to be so aggressive. Enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more videos.